What's the best way to explore and test GraphQL APIs? In this video, I'll be comparing GraphQL2 with Alter, which is a GraphQL IDE that you can install on multiple platforms, including your desktop. Previously, I already recorded a video that shows all the differences between GraphQL1 and GraphQL2. So GraphQL2, if you'd like to know more about this, have a look at the video that you can find right there. In this video, I'll show you what's new in GraphQL2 and what cool features there are. So let's have a look at some of the features that are highlighted in that video here. Uh, of course, you can execute queries. And what you see in your screen is an example of the demo of GraphQL API from Sailor. And Sailor is a pretty cool SaaS solution to help you build full stack e-commerce platforms. They're a really cool product, so make sure to check them out if you're building an e-commerce solution. Uh, so with GraphQL2, of course, you can execute queries. You can have a look at the schema. You can even look you can even find history of all the queries that you run. And then of course there is an interactive query builder. I haven't even mentioned that there is also a light team and a dark team, which for GraphQL1, we only had a light team. And one of the biggest improvements for GraphQL2 is functionality for tabs. So GraphQL1 didn't have tabs, whereas GraphQL2 has tabs. So for me, this is a killer feature as now I no longer have to uh, comment out any queries when I try to run a second query that is slightly different. And as I mentioned, if you want to check out the full video on GraphQL2, have a look there. But let's have a look at Alter. So Alter is a graphical IDE that you can run on multiple platforms. It looks pretty cool and it has a lot of features, especially compared to graphical, which is, um, well, it doesn't have that many features as Alter has. What I truly like about Alter is you can actually install it on your machines. If you're running macOS or Linux uh, or a browser, because they also have browser extensions, you can use Alter directly there. And the upside here is graphical usually is sort of baked into the GraphQL API. So if you build a GraphQL API, you decide whether or not you want to give the users of that API a tool like graphical. Whereas with Alter, you can use it with any GraphQL endpoint. You can actually paste in any GraphQL endpoint. So you're not limited to the GraphQL API deciding whether or not you would get a graphical to explore your data. You can use Alter for every GraphQL client. So I've installed Alter on my MacBook, meaning that I can open the desktop application and use it directly from there. As you might notice, I've turned on a dark team, but they have multiple teams and you can also have it depend on your system. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be pasting in the link from the Sailor GraphQL API which is the same API that I showed you in Graphical. Uh, let me just make sure that I reload the docs. And after doing so, I should be able to get a list of my documentation right here. Let us also try the query that we run in Graphical and see what it looks like in here. As you can see, there aren't many differences. Uh, it looks pretty much the same. You can see I also have uh, something called tabs. So I can also use the same tabs that I'm used to from Graphical. Uh, I can also set headers. So maybe you're using headers to set uh, your authorization or authentication. And of course, you could also have a box to put in your variables. So feature-wise, it's pretty similar to what we saw for Graphical. I can also view the history. I can actually clear the history as well. And I can also use it for subscriptions which is pretty cool because sometimes graphical doesn't allow you to use subscriptions for the same endpoint. So in here, I would be able to go for a, a WebSocket. Something else I can do here can actually save collections. What you cannot do in graphical is graphical is tied to the GraphQL API you're using it for. So with Alter, you can use collections, which might sound pretty, uh, pretty familiar if you're already using a tool like Postman. So I can actually create a new collection here and let me call it Sailor. So this could be my collection for the Sailor GraphQL API, and I want to create a new collection. Maybe call this Get Products. Probably should have used the name Query to make it all seem a bit nicer. So this is how you can create collections in Alter. And like I mentioned, if you're using Postman, it should all be pretty familiar to what you have been doing before. Of course, you could also prettify your queries in case you have any. So let me go here and prettify or compress it. 
I can actually clear it or copy it as I curl. Go back to my query. I can actually press copy as curl. I can also decide to convert it to a named query automatically. This might save you a lot of time if you are lazy and aren't writing named queries by default, just as I do. You can even have this button that says refactor query, which will help you to put in variables. It's pretty easy to actually um, help you make your queries a bit more robust. As you saw in this video, there are a lot of similarities between Graphical 2 and Alter. And actually, before Graphical 2 was released, I preferred to use Alter over Graphical. But there are other reasons why I might be using Alter instead. One thing I really like about Alter is that it's not tied to a specific GraphQL API. So you can install it on your computer or use the plugin for Chrome or Firefox, and you're able to use all GraphQL APIs you're working with from the same application. Whereas Graphical is usually tied directly to the GraphQL API that you've deployed it with. It's a one major upside of using Alter, especially as you can also save collections. So should you be using Alter? Over graphical, I believe it really depends. If you're building a GraphQL API for other developers, you might be using graphical inside that API as they have a way to explore it. If you're a GraphQL power user like myself, you might prefer Alter as you can store collections and use it with all the GraphQL APIs you know and love. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to press the like button below. Also, subscribe to my channel so you can see more cool videos around GraphQL and other web technologies.